Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Damon with EnvisionNet, and today I'm going to show you how you can run a really powerful report for your Microsoft Teams environment. And this report can help you find stale groups, uh, stale teams, and just generally help you manage your environment more effectively. If you want to learn more about our company, head on over to EnvisionNetLLC.com. And please like, share, and subscribe, and comment below if you'd like to see more content like this. All right, so I have a client using Teams, uh, but they want to try and get their arms around uh, overall usage. Now, one of the great things about Teams, of course, is the freedom and flexibility it provides to the general user, allowing them to create and use the tools they need on the fly without needing to contact someone in IT. But the flip side of that, of course, and what gives administrators a heartburn oftentimes, is the amount of sprawl that this can create. So even with a solid governance strategy in place, which quite honestly many people don't have at all, you're bound to end up with teams that have either served their purpose and are just sitting out there collecting dust, duplicate group names, a collection of groups with names that make no sense, and all of this combining to make it nearly impossible for any administrator to make heads or tails out of the environment. So in other words, it gets really ugly really quickly on the back end. Now within Teams itself, uh, there are some tools that do allow you uh, to get a level of insight into usage, but uh, it is limited. And uh, for the sake of uh, uh, posterity here, I'll go ahead and show you um, what that looks like and how to use that. So let's just go ahead and open our Teams environment here really quickly. All right, so what you'll need to do is, first of all, you'll need to be a global administrator, or ideally anyway, in your uh, Microsoft Teams environment. Um, so you're going to log into your Microsoft 365 dashboard, and then you're going to browse to your Teams Admin Center, as you see here. Once you're there, and I've already got the page open, you'll go down to your Analytics and Reports, and click on Usage Reports beneath that. Under your Reporting Options, you've got several uh, items in the list you can choose. You're going to want to choose your Teams Usage, and you can see here you've got a couple of options, again, pretty limited, uh, to, to uh, select uh, you know, the number of days that you want to look back. So I've already selected the last 28 days. You click on Run Report, and you'll see a usage report similar to this. And so it gives you a decent amount of information, uh, some usage detail, and you can uh, dive a little further into those details if you choose to do so. But again, there are limitations here, um, not only the date range that I mentioned there, uh, but another blind spot with this built-in Teams report is that it only shows you data for active users and channels. So truly inactive or obsolete Teams that have been inactive for more than 28 days will not be included in this report. And so what can you do? Well, that's what the video today is going to be about. And as luck and or irony would have it, uh, Microsoft has solved um, their own problem by creating and publishing a PowerShell script that you can use. And you can find this on their TechNet site. And I'll place a link uh, to that in the description uh, below as well. So running this tool will export a, a .csv and an HTML file with a full listing of your teams and the groups. And it makes it really easy to identify obsolete teams and begin working through the cleanup process. All right, so enough rambling. Uh, let's go ahead and walk through how you would do this. And let's dive in here. All right, so I'm going to open up a PowerShell window. Okay, and I've already got the script imported here, but uh, I guess here real quick, uh, I'll show you what I did. First, you just browse to your TechNet site, and again, I'll provide the link to that. And you're going to download this .ps1 file. And then I opened up a, uh, a PowerShell and simply browse to that file that I downloaded and popped it right in here to the screen. Now before I can run this though, we have to log into our 365 tenant environment. And I'll show you the commands to do that. So we're gonna to need to connect to a few different services in order to get the uh, Teams information that we're gonna to wanna to take a look at. And Teams is connected to a lot of different services such as Azure, Exchange, SharePoint, uh, and so on. We're gonna to need to make sure we're connected and authenticated into each of those services before we can run this report. All right, so the first script you're gonna to wanna to run here we're gonna install our Azure AD module.
All right, once that executes, you're then going to simply connect to Azure AD. And you're going to use this. Once you hit enter here, you're going to be prompted with a login window. And you're going to want to put in your Microsoft 365 global admin credentials. And if I didn't mention already, this PowerShell environment as well, you're going to want to be, uh, you're going to want to open that with uh, an administrator account as well. All right, so I'm already logged in uh, with that, so I'm not going to execute that command. I just wanted to show you what we were using. And the next step is to connect to our Exchange environment. And the command to do that is going to look like this. And then we're going to hit Enter there. And again, we're going to be prompted to log in. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, I'm connected to Exchange. And we have one more script related to Exchange we're going to need to run. All right, and that's here. So I'll scroll slowly here so you can read it. And I'll also provide uh, this information in the description below as well. All right, we're going to execute that. That completed successfully. All right, so, so far we're connected to Azure AD and we're connected to our, our Exchange environment. And I'm sorry, I've got a squeaky chair. It's annoying the hell out of me, but it is what it is. All right, so we're gonna to need to connect to our SharePoint environment. And we're gonna go ahead and install the modules for that. All right, and once that is installed, we're then gonna to connect to our SharePoint tenant environment. And so what you're going to need to do, though, is where you see Crescent listed here, you're going to want to put your tenant name in place of this. So whatever your tenant name would be. All right, and I'm already connected here, so I'm going to skip this step. All right, so now we're connected to our Azure AD environment, we're connected to Exchange, and we're connected to SharePoint. And so lastly, we're going to want to connect to our Teams environment. And we'll install, make sure the module is installed for that. All right, and we'll go ahead and connect to our Teams environment. And again, I'm already connected here, but you'll hit enter. And if you're prompted to authenticate, again, just use your global administrator account for your 365 environment. And then once you've connected to all of these services, you should then be able to run this report. So I'm going to go ahead and click Run, and you're going to be prompted with a security warning. And we're just going to click Run once. All right, so once the report has completed, like I said, it will generate a .csv file, and it will also generate an HTML file. And I have the HTML file or report opened up here, and it presents a nice user-friendly, uh, very intuitive report for you to look through. And you get a good listing of um, you know details, such as group name, uh, who the group's managed by, the number of members, the last chat, number of chats, and so on. So again, it just gives you a really good indication of what kind of usage you have. You start to identify weird things too, like misspellings, for example, inconsistencies in naming convention, that sort of thing. Um, and again, depending on your um, requirements and what your policies are in the environment that you're in, um, you know, you can easily begin to look and filter out some of the, um, the groups that might be stale and no longer utilized. Uh, again, just giving you a good way to get to that level of detail and help keep your environment cleaned up, uh, consistent, uh, and manage your usage. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions, feel free to add those in the comments below. I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. And uh, until next time, I hope you all have a great day, and uh, we'll see you next time.